Hello and welcome back to Indy's fourth product R&D video. Today let's take a deeper look at some of our work in wayfinding with mobile AR. So firstly, what is wayfinding? Wayfinding is defined as the various ways in which people orient themselves in physical space and navigate from place to place. So why do we need it? Well, there has always been a need for information systems that guide people and enhance their understanding and experience within an environment. This is why our public spaces such as roads, malls, and transportation hubs are filled with signs and directions so people can reach their desired locations efficiently, even in a large and unfamiliar space. This is especially true in places like large retail centers, amusement parks, self-guided tours, and museums, to name a few. The cool thing is that AR wayfinding is one of the most fitting tools towards addressing this very old and very real issue. There are two ways in which we can accomplish AR wayfinding at Indy. For outdoor wayfinding, we use GPS coordinates. Whereas for indoor wayfinding, when users are within a building or a built environment, we use computer vision, real-time 3D mapping, and visual positioning. For the purpose of this video, we'll only be focusing on outdoor wayfinding. In this example, you're getting an inside scoop on a recently completed mobile AR wayfinding app, which gets people to various points of interest in the area. You can see here that as I pivot around while holding my phone, I receive feedback on my proximity to a couple of nearby museums and some information about each one. Now we decided to take this test a little further by hard coding our wayfinding application to take us to KFC from our office. You'll notice in this screen recording that as the users stray off the recommended path, the AR guide begins to turn red. Once they get back onto the path, the arrow turns blue and they can continue along. We'll speed it up a little since it's about a five minute walk. And finally, destination reached. 